Hello, welcome to JCB RO Labs. Uh, for more information, you can log on to www.jcbrolabs.org. In this video, we will start with our new session uh, that is Lab View. And in this particular video, we will have a little introduction for Lab View. So, open our Lab View. Uh, when you open the Lab View, this is a first window which uh, pops up. Uh, on this window select blank vi and a new window will open up two windows will be open up there uh, let's put uh, these two windows side by side so as you know this uh, lab is a completely graphical programming languages what do i mean by graphical programming languages means uh, we don't have to write codes uh, in lab view uh, we just uh, have uh, some block diagrams like Simulink in MATLAB and then we connect those block diagrams to each other and that's the programming program. What is the main advantage of the LabVIEW is over MATLAB uh, is that uh, it is fast in real time as compared to MATLAB and the LabVIEW suit suits for real time applications. Further, its GUI is much 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 better than that of the LabVIEW and we can create uh, very good instruments or very good looking uh, uh, GUIs uh, in uh, LabVIEW rather than MATLAB. So now come to uh, LabVIEW. This was a brief introduction about LabVIEW. LabVIEW compromise of two windows. This window is known as a front panel as the name suggests here in the title bar and this blank window is the block diagram window so this is particular the window where we develop our algorithm and uh, we connect uh, or there will be connections uh, between blocks uh, this is the window when we run the vi this window will be pop up and it will be front panel uh, to the user so that is why it is known as a front panel out of it there are several buttons here and we will look go through all these buttons step by step as the need arises so let's create a very small program uh, let's create a right click this uh, uh, new window will open up in this there are two type of things control and indicators so control are the uh, blocks in which user fed the input to the computer and indicator as the name suggests they show the results or whatever results uh, or the outcome is coming up uh, from the user so if we talk about the data types uh, particular in MATLAB and LabVIEW so they are basically uh, three data types there that is uh, numbers numbers could be of integer type uh, or float numbers then they are boolean boolean means uh, true false and then they are strings so these are the major data types uh, which LabVIEW follows and each data types is represented by a different color let's have an example let's put uh, we want to display the numbers whatever we are generated by the user so we go to the numeric and then numeric control so corresponding block will be created in the block diagram window so suppose we double click on it so it will refers to the corresponding block in block diagram and now suppose we want to display it uh, want to read the data whatever is being there so we will connect an indicator there and in order to do the programming we just need to connect it that's it so let's run it this is the run button and run button means it runs one time one iteration and then it stops suppose we want to run it continuously again and again so we uh, select this run continuously command so what does run continuously command do it keeps on repeating the complete block diagram again and again so suppose whatever value we will be putting there uh, the same value will be getting in the indicator suppose we write 5469 we will get the same value here. now uh, it looks like a little uh, little so let's change the font text so we can select change the font text from here and then size and then 25 similarly for this size and then 24 so simply increase it whatever value you will put 
that will be indicated on the numerical value now let's have a look about another data type that is boolean boolean means true and false so generally it comes in the form of buttons switches and so so corresponding block will be created here so it is a push button there and suppose what we want to know whenever we press the push button a uh, led should blow up so let's put a led because it is a boolean so we can change the size of this led and this button that's it and for connection let's connect it directly right and let's run it because the switch was on it goes on off on off on off now suppose we want to change the color of the led go to the properties and then we can change the on color from here uh, red color okay uh, continuous run on off on off on off so very simple now let's go to the another data type so that is string control again control means the user want to enter the data one major difference between control and indicator is uh, the output arrow is towards the right hand side of the block if it is a controller control that means it is a kind of source and if it is an indicator then the arrow is towards the left hand side and uh, that is uh, denoting it is a kind of sync and it is receiving the data and let's create a indicator a string indicator there let's connect them together that's it so let's run it if you write so the same thing could be done boolean and this one. so if you can look uh, the graphical uh, which is being visible to the user that is this uh, gui is much greater than the matlab or another programming languages and we can create a lots of symbols are there we can do the same thing right uh, we have thermometer slider bar or we could have a thermometer we have suppose we want to display the temperature value uh, we have the speed the meter range again all are connected the same and we will go through them one by one uh, this is an indicator now suppose if we connect it to the numeric palette and this also can be connected to the numeric because all these are numeric indicator this slide was the control so instead of this range we connect this to the slider that's it so let's run it because its range is 100 so let's put a t5 there directly change in the temperature similar in the slider we can it is kind of a speed like speed is varying Zoom. so uh, such type of functionality you may not find in other programming languages and so more uh, programs and more interesting videos will be created in the upcoming lectures I hope uh, this is a pretty much a good introduction of the lab view and it's uh, really it's very easy just a simple connections so I hope that's it for this video thank you